But here I am in Burley, trying to uh, get to a snake that they've called me for. This is bright and early in the morning, and they said it's alive but barely moving. So it's either a carpet python sitting there doing nothing, or it's a sea snake. I'm just hoping I've got the right spot here. They said just north of First Ave, and that's First Ave. If it's a sea snake, I'm going to have to run it to um, Sea World. And Brooks at home packing up animals because we've got a show to do today. Luckily this show is not till 11.30 now. It was 11 but they changed the time so that suits me. But I've had so many inquiries this morning about snakes. using this bag here it's a silk material very thick silky material it doesn't bother the sea snakes it doesn't sap them of all their moisture because it's going to be in it a half an hour or yeah 35 minutes till I get to to sea world so you will jump on a boat and take it two k's out to sea because the currents are different in shallow than what they are at at sea and if you are If you just put the snake back in the water here, it'll, it'll end up back on the beach in five minutes if it's a sea snake. This will be my annual exercise walking in the sand with these boots that distance. <coughs> Maybe I should have come down those stairs there, but anyway, it did say First Avenue. Champion. Uh, it's a sea snake and it's definitely um, out of its comfort zone right now. What? It's, it is a sea snake and it's definitely out of its comfort zone right now. It's alive. It's okay. It's okay? Yeah, well and truly. Different currents and storms and stuff knock them about. They also come in shallow sometimes to get all the barnacles and whatnot off their body after a long time being out there. Yeah. He's covered in them. 